Actually, if Brunewolf is, uh, is the Owl Steward, is that right? Maybe he's, uh, up in this place somewhere. Yeesh. Aldrif won't give us a straight answer. Staying safe, I hope. Hey, uh... He'll come around. I'm actually looking for Brunel. Don't be so sure of that. We've intercepted couriers from Solitude. The Empire is putting a great deal of pressure on White Run. And what would you have me do? If he's not with us, he's against us. He knows that. They all. I'd be a lot warmer and a lot happier with a belly full of mead. Maybe that's where Brunel Wolf is. I, uh. <laughs> Something tells me I wasn't supposed to overhear that. And uh, I'm just gonna leave before someone thinks I'm up to no good. Cause you know, Rolf's around here somewhere, probably. And uh... Ooh. Graveyard. Uh, I can't remember what I was gonna say. Come on in. We've got warm food, warm drinks, Our and heroes, warm beds. Speak of the planes of warriors. Anyway. Heart. I tell you, I tell you, the dragonborn comes. With a voice so every night. Standing on the I walk around a gray quarter and let them grayskins know what I think of them. Hey. The damn grayskin. Go back to Morrowind. I hear you in the battle. Alright, can I ask you something? Why do you hate people like me? They're parasites. They're living in our city under our protection. But what do they do for us? Nothing. I know the High King invited them here, but he didn't ask me or anyone else first. Maybe he should have. You're an ugly, ugly man, you know that? Don't like it? Too bad. This is our city. Ours! Don't think I can take you? One hundred septums say I can punch you back where you came from. <laughs> You're on. All right. Fists only. And none of that magic stuff either. Let's go. Come on. Let's see what you're made of. Just going to stand there and take it to do fight back. That's all you've got? This is an Damn ode you. to Skyrim's truest sons and daughters. Twelve the septums on the big one. You bet wrong, my sir. That wasn't a fair swing. That was called a left hook. You're just going to stand there and I learned it from me mum. She's a Nord, I'll have you know. You lost, give me my money. Yeah, here. That's what I thought, you snowberry. <sighs> Sorry, Stenvar. That was fun. Still looking for... Name's Nils. I'm the cook up at Candlehearth Hall. Good to meet you, Nils. Where could he be? Alright, well, it's about that time I would expect people to be gathering in the market. Right? Maybe? Oh, that felt really good. Make it quick. I don't usually punch people out like that. That's nice. Oh, maybe that's him. Excuse me? You one of those Skyrim for the Nords types? Ah. Uh, I don't... I don't think so. I think all folk belong Selection here. Selection looks very delicious. And you're I'll right. Take an apple. At least as far as I'm concerned. Don't let Ulfric or some of these other short-sighted Nords bother you. Most of us are happy to welcome newcomers. Ulfric doesn't care about... Well, that's pretty obvious. I've met Rolf. <sighs> are you Brunewald Freewinter by any chance? There's fruit and vegetables for sale. Uh, I'm actually looking about... Uh, looking into something about the Freewinter farm. Uh, hold on. Anytime, friend. 
Help me. I lost my twin sister a while back. Have you ever lost anyone close? Uh personally? Not really. Okay. Sorry, I just want to get out the way of, of people. Uh about the free winter farm. How about you mind your own business about it? Uh uh, uh Sorry, uh could you tell me about Bowden? Yes. He's dead. But never mind all that. How do you know him? Assorted fruits and vegetables. I'm investigating Teldrin Cerro. I came from Soul Slime and there's a whole bunch of stuff going on over there. Sorry? What makes you think I know anything? Everyone knows he's dead and gone. Come and I, browse my uh, collection. Everything's fresh. Are delicious. you talking about Voden or Teldrin? Because Teldrin, you're responsible for his crimes, aren't you? Technically, by law. Sure. Let's hear the rest of it. Raven Rock is under attack by uh, Come, pirates, and possibly also Teldrin. I'm not quite sure on that front yet. I see. I've also heard troubling rumors about dealings between you and the crew of that pirate ship. I don't know about such things. But what's all this about? You've heard about me. That's uh, interesting. Uh, so, a woman named Sigrun wants Teldrin alive. Not this again. Let's just kill them both, eh? <laughs> right. Why is she after him? She still mourns greatly for her husband, my brother. He was murdered. Did Teltrin kill him? <laughs> him? Better help him out any way you can. Uh, he made it pretty clear he needs no help from me. Yeah, I know what you mean. Arrogant elven bastard. But he's no traitor. I owe him my life, in fact. Assorted fruits and vegetables. All delicious you do? and affordable. My brother and I returned from the war to find my home overrun with bandit filth. These filth bags swooped in and seized the place. I warned him not to go in there. We were outnumbered five to one at least. My fine but then, out of nowhere, delicious. a dark elf attacked. And you know the rest. Uh, because he was, a of everything for sale. Come, he was Bowden's, uh, to, uh, I don't know what a good word for it is, but he was, the two of them were like linked, right? Is that why you did that? Not sure. I'll point you to the first and last person you're ever going to need to talk to. You sale. need only ask about it. Oy. I'll probably need to prove Teldrin's innocence to Sigrun. Or kill her, I suppose, depending. Hmm. Think I've got something you can use. Here. I'm sure you'll find what you're looking for. Thanks for the help. Be careful. This woman is known to be dangerous. I... And vegetables, all ripe so and ready for your table. Although that said, <laughs> I'm not as uh -huh. dangerous without... My bodyguard, yeah? <laughs> okay, so we've got a new- We gotta get out of here, it's a little loud. All delicious and affordable. One bad thing about being an elf that I've noticed, having grown up with Nords, we hear things that men don't. Mare, I mean. <laughs> Mare hear things that men don't. You've got bigger ears. Uh, right. Not coming back. That's what he handed me. So okay. I forgot to ask him about the about the wee the wee barn. Anyway, Brain Wolf, I'm deeply sorry. Voden is dead. We tracked down the bat. Gods with this handwriting. Anyway, we tracked down the bandits. He was looking for and there was nothing I could do to stop him although they got what they deserved I set I set fire to the encampment and managed to recover the body 
looking for a small circle of stones under- Look! I can read. Look for a small circle of stones under the waterfall at Robber's Gorge. And please give him a proper burial. If anyone asks, I died there too. Oh. So, I assume... Farewell, Serio. I better leave Skyrim before someone accuses me again. Okay, so Teltrin faked his own death. Now, was it that something? Se okay, let's go talk to the. Hello. That guy at the corner club. Ooh, and also maybe get some provisions. I don't want to ask the Nord lady up at Candle Hearth because she's just absolutely the worst. Just the worst. Yeah, I. she's all welcome in when you come in. I get a drink, sit yourself down, get... But she's a wee bit of a bit, eh? Uh... All right. Oh, aren't you a sight for sore eyes? What can I do for you, friend? Ah, uh, I was looking for you, actually. Do you know anything about what happened at the Free Winter Farm? Oh, indeed I do. Indeed I do. God, she looks I've just like me. I've after the killer myself. You mean Teltrin Cero? He's innocent. Ha! Now tell me the one about the troll who gives gifts to good little boys and girls. You're a traveler, right? Let him know how much of a failure he is. I... Uh, yeah. So, is it true that he's a murderer then? Looks like you aren't such a sharp investigator after all. Any idiot could see that. Well, I mean, I wasn't really talking about Voden. And any idiot could judge a book by its cover. <laughs> Damn you for being right. <laughs> Alright, I have things to do. Yes, well, so do I. That's why I was hoping you could help. Alright, what you want? You may have seen the open grave in our graveyard. Most of the townsfolk think it's the work of a corpse thief. The truth is less pleasant. It is, was, the grave of my own ancestor. He is also a vampire. Uh, are you asking me to defile a graveyard right now? Probably for the best, if you're up to it. I... Have you changed your mind? I mean, it goes against absolutely everything that I and my ancestors believed in. But sure, I'll go digging around in an ancient vampire grave. What could go wrong? <laughs> Consider it done. You help my people, and we will sing of you forever. Good uh... luck out there. I'm counting on you. Aye. Gods, that's creepy. I've never met me a doppelganger before. <sighs> you know anything about fighting vampires? Because I don't. I don't know a damn thing. But, alright. Uh... He's not going to talk until we do it, so... And I don't know where Robber's Gorge is. Hi, lady. Would you like to buy some flowers? Please? Yeah, sure, why not? What you got? Not much, but I hope you like them. Uh... Uh... Right, uh... I'll just take this off your hands. There you go. Uh, good luck with your sales, little one. Stop by again. Will do. 
Oh, she's a cute wee thing, isn't she? Do kids in Skyrim usually walk around without their parents? <laughs> Don't look at me like that. Actually, it's probably not the best idea to go <laughs> yelling at guards like that. Can I help you? Well, I hope so. We'll see. You're right. You look like you had something on your mind there. Anyway. By the nine, I'd pay good money for a pint of ale. We forgot to get. I. I see what. Uh. All right. We'll do that after this. Thanks for reminding me, Stenvar. I can be a little absent-minded at times. A lot absent-minded, actually. Wait, was that you that said that? Can I help you? Yep, it was. All right. Lead on then. Hey. Here's the thing, right? Stenvar, there you are. Here's the thing, right? We've got a bunch of uh, high elves as stable keepers. Something tells me, uh, Ulfric's a bit more welcoming of outsiders than uh, Rolf seems to think he is. Oh my, I hadn't thought of that. There are places in the world that aren't wrapped <laughs> in ice, you know. Uh, he does have a point. Oop, I sounded like my mum. Ah, if you can get the soil to actually cooperate with you, it's actually not hard to grow things. The problem is that a lot of vegetables that you can import from uh, Cyrodiil or Skyrim for that matter a lot of those vegetables don't do well in uh, um, in our kind of climate like the soil's nice if you can find a plant that can deal with the cold Or the heat, depending on what part of Morrowind you're in. My mom and dad actually had a garden going. Well, while well, they were settled down anyway. Every couple of years we'd move somewhere else. Or every couple of seasons, depending on a lot of things. Uh, but everywhere they went, they always tried to set up a garden of some sort. They were brilliant at it. And I don't think that... I don't know if my mum learned that from... Uh, from the folks in Soul's time or not. Eh. Either way, I've never had much of a green thumb myself. <laughs> so, uh... I cleared this place out before I met you. I think they might have ale in there. Jeez. I didn't see that. Mm -hmm. I was wrong. Never mind. I was going to see if I could get that man an ale, but eh, whatever. I still don't know about that kid. The one up at the uh, Free Winter Farm. That one there. 
Don't know if uh, if Teltrin killed her or if someone else did. Suppose I'll find out though. All right, you little fox. Curse this chill. I should have dressed more warmly. You want a cloak? I think I've got one in here somewhere. I'm still here. I'm glad to lend a hand. That's good to hear. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. There. How about that? Actually, that fits you better than it fit me. I'm kind of impressed. Lead on, then. Alright. Okay, are you actually gonna lead me somewhere? Whatever. Now, which one was the... Probably the... Yeah, that has a different colour than the other ones. Well, this could be fun. Red. Oh. I'm terrified. I don't trust that. Or that. Okay, there's bones everywhere. That didn't... that doesn't... What is this place? Hello? <gasps> no. No. No, 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 no. Okay. I It seems to be a wee bit stuck. I don't have the reach to deal with you. Cool. Yes, I do. No, I don't. You got yourself stuck, didn't you? Well, hey, that suits me just fine. Oh! I, 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 I am staying away from you! Gods, you're an ugly thing. I am not much of a mage. Ah, let's see. That'll do. No, it won't. Just keep waiting for my magic. Gods. 
gargoyle? I suppose. It's kind of gross, whatever it is. Aye, whatever. It gets one hit on me now, that's fine. That'll do. Heh. <laughs> Floats face down in bloody waters. Ooh. I'm taking that. I don't even care. Cause that's just... Ooh. I'm just gonna do that because like gods I wish I could ash that thing I feel like stealth and range will be my Greatest weapons. This place is giving me the creeps. I yes it is. Ugh. And there's just blood everywhere. decided something. I bloody hate vampires. Here's something. There's something in there. Oh god. I don't need to be hungry and thirsty right now. If my body could give it a rest. Be great. Do I deal with this? No? I'm gonna scout first. Ah, uh, no I'm not. I don't trust that thing. Don't you. Don't you do it. Alright. I dealt with the one thing. I don't know what's in here. I'm at full power. Maybe. Maybe. Just maybe. Hi, 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 hi. Alright. Come on out, you wee thing. I 
Why? I can't hold that forever, otherwise I'll burn my hands. Ha <laughs> ha, there she is. Aye, alright. Aye, that didn't do much. I don't have... Oh, Alright, get... Ooh. Do I have any... Well, that would be awesome if this thing was living. I don't think it is. This is gonna be bad. I can feel it. I alright. Follow me, follow me, follow me. <laughs> Come on. Get out there. You wee bastard. Can you? <laughs> you can now. I was just about to say, to say I don't think he can reach. That guy can. Ooh. I got really wish I had some kind of ranged weapon right at the moment, but I am crap at ranged weapons. Ooh. Uh Where the heck did I pick that up? This is a heavy bastard, but hey. Do that. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. Oh, oh. This is going to be a really bad. I can feel it. Ha ha. Oh, look at that thing. It's tediously heavy, though. I'd rather not. All right. So far, so good. <sighs> Gonna ready my fireballs again, just in case. I don't trust you. I know I don't. Supposedly, there's a vampire in here somewhere. You. I, I. I mean, I'm already defiling an ancient grave. I missed something. I. I know what I'm missing. Ugh. Ugh. My wits. I'm missing my wits. Here gods Oh Sure. I I'm real glad there's not like a human heart in that box or something. That would have been just the worst. Ugh. Could you imagine sticking your box sticking your box? I heard that. Sticking your hand into a box full of organs. I... I'm stuck. <gasps> okay. Oh, 
Oh, I hope those bats didn't alert whoever's down here. No. I should probably leave that open, but... Okay, tediously heavy or not, that thing hits like a... Oops. Yeah. Now would probably be a good time. Come on. To, uh... Have me ancestors helping me out. Hello. That's a wee skeleton. I don't care about him. Where's the big bastard? Gods, I'm the least stealthy person, aren't I? Okay. Time to bring out the big hammer. This should be good. <laughs> oh, gods. Splat. I like this thing. It's huge and unwieldy, but I kind of like it. We've got more. Hi. You little buggers. Come on. Hi. You know you want some. I don't know what kind of thing that is, but... Ow. Archer, you crap. Ay, 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 ay. Probably fry all of them, but... There we go. Oh! I see him! I saw him! I heard him! There you are! He's in my face. Yikes. Okay. You will not! Ha 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 ha! there. But, uh, I'm still good. Barely. Gods. Get up, girl. You must leave this place. Or I must make you. You trouble me, glad child. Always you are reckless. Always you are eager to fight. You will learn. You will grow. You will break. You will learn of respect and discipline. I will help you do this. You are my legacy. It will be so.
I'm alive. They definitely thought I was dead. Stedvard? <sighs> what is he? <sighs> He's uh, gone. There he is. Hey. Ha. <laughs> you did worry about me. I'm okay. I think. I definitely just killed the vampire. Let's get going. Yeah. <sighs> Gonna report back to the one guy. I'm still here. Thanks. Thanks a lot. That was I thought I was dead. I honestly thought I was dead. I'm alive though. And Foxy. Uh huh. Actually, have I got a tent on me? I I don't know if. Let's get back to that little cabin thing and just hunker down for a wee bit, I think. Ah, uh, hey. That was a close call. Have you call. seen that shrine of Azura? They say the Dark Elves built it after they fled from Morrowind. <laughs> Sight to see. Thanks for trying to cheer me up, Stenvar. I'm glad you're here. Gods, I feel like I'm gonna pass out. Again. <laughs>